Here are 10 facts that guarantee you did not know about Demon Slayer. After Muzan was transformed into a demon after the Heon period, he married five different women, but his new demonic nature made him so cruel to all his wives that they ended their own lives. He's not exactly a good guy nowadays, but he seems to be able to keep his villainy under wraps when he wants to. In order to enhance his power and use blood art techniques, Ninja eats demon flesh. This is potentially horrendous to his health. This is why he has to constantly go to the Butterfly Mansion to keep himself in good shape. Did you know that demons get their powers from drinking and eating humans? Did you know that Rui was weaker than what he was supposed to be? Ryu was an opponent that Tanjiro and Nezuko were barely able to defeat, but he wasn't at full strength when they fought. Apparently, he's more than powerful enough to take on a Hashira, but he weakened himself by sharing his powers with his quote-unquote and it seems like his power loss was permanently because when they did cut down the spiders, he did not regain his powers. Did you know that Tanjiro's trauma goes deeper than what you think? One of the quotes that are heavily associated with Tanjiro are, Whenever happiness is destroyed, there is always a scent of blood. The second book explains that this isn't just about his mother or siblings. Tanjiro is also the person who found his father as he was coughing blood. He also found his grandmother as she was passing away. Once he was in the village and he smelt blood, he discovered that one of the villagers was near death, which gave him a chance to say goodbye. Do you know that demon slayers are cursed with a mark? Tanjiro is the most prominent example of a demon slayer who has a mark on his face. However, he isn't the only one. There are certain predicaments for demon slayers in order to achieve this mark, which involves surviving near death experiences like how Tanjiro did. They can also achieve this power when their body temperatures are below a certain point. The abilities of this mark. One of the many abilities that this mark possesses is to be able to see the joint movements, the flow of blood, and the muscles of all living beings. The first ever mark to have ever been recorded on a demon slayer was in the Sengoku era. His name was Yurichi, and he was also the first breathing style user. Later on, other men have also practiced the sun breathing technique. Also came across this mark. Ever since then, these marks have been appearing on demon slayers who have fit the criteria of possessing a mark. Time that it takes to become a Hashira. It has been emphasized time and time again in the manga and anime that is near impossible to become a Hashira simply because of how difficult its qualifications are. The average Hashira needs a minimum of five years of training in order to just become good enough to kill 50 demons. But there are some prodigy demon slayers who are able to do this in a little over a year. Qualifications of becoming a Hashira. There are not many Hashiras out there, and this is because the qualifications to becoming a Hashira is very tough. One has to either kill one of the 12 most powerful demons of Muzan, or kill a total of 50 random demons to qualify. All of the Hashiras have their own agents that they have to protect. But thank you all for watching. If you like these top 10s and you want more top 10s, let me know in the comments down below. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and peace out.